Well, that rain isn't too far away. It's going to start to work its way in by the end of the week, which means if you have anything you want to do outside before that rainfall gets here, maybe mow the lawn, uh, run some errands. Now's a good time to do that because we do still have quiet conditions showing up on those sky cams. Another look at Carbondale, not seeing any active weather tonight, and those temperatures are fairly mild, about 82 degrees right now with those dew points down into the 50s. So 82 is actually feeling like 82. We do have uh, low to mid 80s across the entire viewing area tonight. Sykeston a little bit warmer at 87, 86 in Paducah, 85 in Dixon Springs, Harrisburg holding on to 84 degrees. So really not a bad night across the region. We're going to continue to see that quiet weather for one more day. So throughout the day tomorrow, we're talking hazy and warm conditions again, and then that chance for rain starts to work its way in on Thursday. Widespread rainfall sticks around Thursday and into Friday, along with some windy conditions. And then we could see some of those showers even linger as we head into the weekend. So a pretty active forecast coming our way. Enjoy the last of the quiet while it's around. This is a wide look of that satellite and radar. There's just not much going on here at home. Of course, widening out that view and looking a bit further south. All eyes are on Francine. Now, Francine has been upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane. We're talking wind speeds of 65 miles per hour, and that is expected to make landfall as we head into tomorrow afternoon. For us here at home, it's going to take some time for that to, of course, make its way to us. So you've got that one more quiet day as we head into your Wednesday. Clear conditions tonight. We're talking a lot of sunshine throughout the day on Wednesday, and that is going to be accompanied by some warmer temperatures. So as we kick off the day, it's not too bad. We're talking about 55 degrees by lunchtime, 82, but highs for the day will be back up above average. We're talking 89 degrees for the high tomorrow and then we'll see that rain coming in. So by the time we get to Thursday, you definitely want to have that storm track three app on standby as the remnants of Francine start to work their way northward. We'll start to see some of those outer rain bands working their way into the region by the afternoon and evening on Thursday. Widespread rainfall expected as we head into your Thursday night that continues throughout the day on Friday as well. So a couple of very soggy days in store for us, but we really need that rainfall, so it's not necessarily a bad thing through those northern counties. We're still expecting one to three inches of rain. We could see some higher amounts of it further south. We're talking two to four inches across our southernmost counties as we head into tomorrow. Again, the last dry day, but then here comes Francine. We're talking widespread rainfall, but it will also be breezy. So when it comes to those wind speeds, we're talking about wind gusts between between 20 and 30 miles per hour and then those showers will potentially stick around as we head into the weekend. So it's looking like a nice forecast just to kind of cozy up on the couch and maybe watch some movies. Yeah, and we won't have to water the lawn for a while. Right? We won't. That'll be a nice change. <laughs> All right. Thanks, JC.